This is part two of Painting Waves at Dawn. I've noticed after painting much of the painting that, that my original starting color is not only too light, but a little bit on the blue side, so I'm going to make it grayer and a little darker. Now start developing the clouds in the sky. This is just white with a little yellow in it to make it a little warmer. Notice how I turn my brush on its side to get a real sharp edge when I want very thin lines. I'm now using my number six brush and some of this will reflect down into the sand below and it'll make that sand look a lot more luminous and reflective. Remember, anytime you go back to this blue color, make sure you clean your brush real good. Clean it and dry it good before you go into that blue because any residual paint will get into the blue and pollute it. Now I'm just continuing to work these waves. This is my clean blue color. Now I'm starting to tie my edges together. Remember where the colors were separated, when you go back to adjust your painting, that's really what you're doing is tying the edges together where these colors are separated. This is really where a lot of artists get in trouble because they start blending too much. They mix their different areas of color together too much and the painting begins to get muddy.
going to be mad at me right here because I inadvertently left the camera off when I painted in the bird. So he just has magically appeared here. But you can see where I've placed him right in the area of interest. In fact, the bird creates the area of interest. So this will wrap up Painting Waves at Dawn. Give it a try. I think you might like it. <laughs>